I really don't like doing these kind of videos where the camera faces me like this. Uh, I'm not photogenic, man. I got a face that's made for radio. That is for sure. Um, way too fat for this, man. I like doing the POV videos, you know? I like the videos, uh, helmet cam, looking out, point of view type stuff. I don't like it facing me. It's ridiculous. Uh, but I need to make an explanation video, and that's what this is, so we're going to get right into it real quick. Try to keep it short. Um, it probably won't be short, but we're going to try our best. Listen, so here's the deal. I waited a long time to make this video. Uh, I've been wanting to make this video, but I wanted to wait, and I wanted to make sure that I was level-headed about it, that I wasn't pissed off. I didn't want to make a video when I was pissed off. Uh, I wanted the emotions to calm down. I wanted to be professional. I wanted to be level-headed. Um, still, even though I'm level-headed and I'm professional, I'm still ticked off, but I think I, I can make this video and kind of explain to you guys what's going on with the videos. A lot of you guys have been asking me, hey, you know, Officer Rob, what's going on with the videos? How come you don't do vlogs anymore? You know, what's, what, what's, what's going on? So... We've talked about this a little bit in the past, but we knew we were going to have to make changes to the channel. We knew the content was going to have to change. When I left the bike, and this started off as a moto vlogging channel. When I left the bike and changed assignments and went up to the helicopter, it changed, you know. And uh, I could, I, we knew I couldn't do them anymore. I started doing movie job videos and stuff like that on my days off, which is fine. But uh, we knew we would probably have to evolve from that too because that was kind of boring too. So <sighs> I don't even know where to start, man. It's, you don't even have to watch the rest of this video. It's politics and egos. That's all it boils down to. Politics and egos. Hey, you, you can stop the video right now. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Those of you that want to stick around and hear the rest of it, uh, I'll try to make it quick. I'll try to keep it short, and uh, we'll move on. Obviously, I can't get into the specifics of everything. There's a lot of stuff that I can't talk about. No matter what I do, as soon as I hit upload on this video, or no, no matter what I do it now, when I hit upload on any video, it's gonna it's gonna piss somebody off. Somebody's gonna have a heartache. Someone's ego is gonna get bruised. People are gonna hate on it. They're not gonna like it. Whatever. Normally, I don't give two craps about people not liking my stuff, but uh, these people who are haters from within my circle, or they're in a position to make things difficult for me at work. Let's put it that way. And I won't mention work. Moving forward, I'm not going to mention work, where I work, what I... I'll mention what I do, but not what agency or department I work for, what city I work for, what city I'm in, and all that stuff. I want to keep my stuff separate from work. This has nothing to do with work. These videos are not work-related. These videos are done in my own time, my own free time, my days off, my time. My time! And have nothing to do with work. And that's the way it has to be. That's the way I wanted it to be. Uh, God, I don't even know where to start, man. I'm not trying to make waves. I'm not trying to burn bridges. I'm not trying to step on anyone's toes. That is not my intention here. The best place for me to start, though, I think is at the beginning. We're going to go all the way back to high school. I took four years of photography in high school, both semesters. So eight semesters of photography. Uh, my favorite professor was, was Dan Jeldum at my high school. He was my my photography professor teacher and uh man he was amazing what a great person that guy was what a great creative artist anyway he, he instilled in me a love for photography senior year i got a job at a community cable station public access station uh, uh in the small town where i went to high school didn't live there used a fake address to go there but that's a whole nother video uh but i went to school and I worked at this community cable station. I was the camera operator. I was the sound guy. I was the light guy. I was the wire dog. I was everything. You name it. I was the PA all the way up to the AD. All the way up to the director. You know what I mean? Everything. Um, planning commission meetings. City council meetings. Christmas tree lightings. Parades. Park dedications. You name it. I was there. High school football games. I would shoot the video. I would get the audio. I'd get the interviews. I'd take it back. Three quarter inch tape. The big tapes. I'd edit it all together. I'd make a video or a show out of it. I'd present it to the uh, studio director, and she would either approve it or not approve it. She always approved it, and it would go out. It would get broadcast. It was broadcast television. That was like dipping my toes, and I loved it. That was like an awesome dream job for me, but I didn't pursue it. I did it senior year. I did it for about a year and a half after. Got my EMT, started driving ambulances, and... Um, uh, you know that type of thing and ended up in the Marine Corps and ended up getting hired on the PD so that's that's my story but 
photography never left my heart. Uh, creating videos never did. I still loved it. Uh, I always have. It's just I couldn't afford it after high school. I couldn't afford film for photography. Uh, I couldn't afford to develop it in high school. We did. All, we had a free film and we developed our own stuff. You know, uh, when I worked for the community cable station, I was able to do projects on my own using the studio's equipment and gear and stuff. You know, and tape. Well, I couldn't afford a camera after that. A video, a, a proper video camera. Well, fast forward, digital age is upon us. We got these little cards that hold gigabytes, and we could do it again. So, right back. I mean, we're right back at it, dude. It, 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 it found me again. You know, we, we separated photography and video, and then it found me. So it's great. Um, in the wake of things that were going on at work, not at work, but in the country, uh, I'm talking about, like, Ferguson. I'm talking Trayvon Martin. I'm try talking those type incidents. Um, think of them what you will but it created a divide in the country it created a divide in the country between law enforcement and the communities that we serve so the agency that I worked for had an eight-hour PowerPoint training and they killed us by PowerPoint as deputy chief had us in there sat us all down and the whole agency had this training and it was called rebuilding the public trust bridging the gap between us and the communities that we serve because without the communities we, we serve and their support we're nothing we can't do our jobs everybody knows that so they were like killing us by PowerPoint and this deputy chief's like, yo, check it out. I encourage you guys to go to social media. Uh, this is like 2015, right around then. I encourage you to go to use your social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever, and tell our story and humanize the badge. Now humanize the badge is somebody else. That's Mike the Cop, uh, Detroit area guy. Um, and him and I think Officer Daniels, maybe a couple other people started that whole humanizing the badge movement, but it was the same time frame and it was the same idea. Go out there, post pictures of, of you know, like Police Memorial Week and the candlelight vigil and, you know, you with your family, whatever, you know, you feel comfortable with doing. If you want to do it, they encouraged us to go out and do it. So I'm like, ding, you know, I, I shot video on my helmet at work on the motorcycle for years. I had terabytes of video. I'm like, I can do this. So, um, I reviewed the social media policy and the guidelines that we have at my agency and I memorized it. I became an expert in it. And basically what it boils down to is I can shoot anything where there's no reasonable expectation of privacy, pretty much in the public only, like a public street, right? And I can't shoot anything that involves any investigations or any enforcement activity. Okay. So I can't show cop stuff, but I could ride my bike and talk, which is pretty much if you go back and look at my videos, well what little are left, you, you'll see that that's all it was, was me riding around talking, you know. Uh, that's another thing, you know, after what I can't really talk too much about on here happened, you guys noticed, may or may have noticed, I don't know, that I went from 100 videos to about 14 videos, so I had to take a bunch of stuff down because uh, moving forward, I'm not going, to, I'm going to separate myself as much as humanly possible. I don't want anyone to know what agency I work for. Uh, see me in uniform, uh, the city seal, the badge, the uh, the patch, the motto, the logo, all that stuff. No, can't show it. A lot of that stuff's copyrighted, and I don't want people that are haters to try and pull copyright issues on me, even though there's dozens of other guys doing it, and even though the department itself told us they wanted us to do it. See, here's the thing. The people that were in play, the players back then are gone. Uh, we had one really great guy that was in charge of our media relations who was a seasoned veteran, well-respected police officer, and he's gone, left us to, a, he went to a different agency, but he saw the value in social media. He saw the value in us reaching out to the communities that we serve. He saw that there's no stopping the social media platform and that you either have to adapt to it and accept it and make it work for you, or you need to do something else because it ain't gonna work. You ain't getting rid of it, you know what I mean? So he saw that times have changed. People are in positions now that don't see the value in it or their egos think that they're the ones that should be doing it and no one else. Well, and then what happens is when, when he gets his, when they get their toes stepped on, they get upset and they try to come after you and try to get you in trouble and make your life miserable. Uh, but what sucks about it is, is they're selective about it and they only go after a certain select few and then other ones that they like, they let do and get away with what they want. I've already said too much. I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there. I'm not naming names. Like I said, 
not trying to piss anybody off, not trying to point fingers. I'm just trying to explain to you guys why there's a change, why moving forward, we're not going to talk about anything work-related. Uh, we're not going to talk about, we're not going to show any work-related stuff. This channel is my channel. It's my personal channel. It has nothing to do with what I do for a living. It has nothing to do with, with, with the place I work for or any of that. I'm not a representative or a spokesperson for the place that I work at. I'm sorry that it has to be that. I wish it didn't have to be that way. It's politics and egos. Well, I hope you guys are all doing well. I should have mentioned this at the beginning you know, during all this COVID stuff, this you know China, China virus or whatever you want to call it, COVID, Wuhan. Uh, it looks like places are starting to open up now, so hopefully... You know, we can get, get our lives all back on track. I, I realize and I understand and I appreciate that I have a special job that allows me to still work through all this. And I know there's millions of people out there who are out of work. And, and, and my heart goes out to you. And I hope that soon we can all get all back to work. I um, hope you guys are safe. Um, this, is, this is a worldwide thing, you know. It's crazy. I'm in my car. I'm by myself. I'm not required to wear a mask. I think you're silly if you're driving around in your car by yourself wearing a mask but you know whatever floats your boat you know but it's not a requirement I don't have to do it because I know probably about two dozen people are going to make a comment about that and let's see what else did I want to talk about that's about it dude just housekeeping really uh moving forward I still want to do the Huell Hauser type urban exploration type uh, you know Delta Bravo type stuff that I want to do and go to interesting places and talk about it and I love history I love local history in the town that I live in so I want to uh I want to pursue that. I want to do motorcycle videos, collabs and stuff like that, gear reviews, safe riding tips or whatever and stuff like that. You know, I, I, I want to share that with you. I want to continue and just to make content that I think you guys will find value in. I understand if you came here for cop stuff, you're like, what the hell? I get it, man. I'm sorry. Um, but that's a no-go, man. So if, if you guys want to hit that unsubscribe, you know, you're not going to hurt my feelings, man. Go ahead and hit it. But for those of you that want to stick around and, and support the channel, I appreciate you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for sticking around. And uh, hopefully uh, it'll be worth it in the future. I'll make some content that you guys will enjoy. Um, thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, we're close to 100,000, man. We get to 100K, I'm going to do a giveaway, maybe a meetup, hopefully, if conditions allow us to have a meetup. You guys give me some ideas down below what you think. It'll probably be somewhere in the su Southern California area for that meetup. So uh, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Uh, and that's really about it, man. I'm going to try to cut it short now before I run out of video time or memory. We'll talk to you guys on the next one. Be good here. Oh, one more thing. Do me a favor. I'm not going to say this actually happened or not, but some of my older videos, I made the mistake of showing the little sliver of my house. And there was a gentleman, nice guy that was able to figure out where I lived and he came by and door knocked and uh, to say hi, take a selfie at my house when my, me and my family were home and, and uh, freaked us out, man. Those things are stupid. Uh, freaked us out big time. So he was a nice guy. He was, you know, he didn't mean any ill will or anything, but um, if you see me out and about and stuff like that, you want to draw, stop in, you know, say hi and shake my hand, take a picture, that's great. I don't mind that. Just don't come to my house. Uh, but anyway, we'll leave it at that. You guys be safe. Uh, watch your six. Be good humans. We'll talk to you on the next one. Later.